Well, against, you know, against Davis, it was, you know, the first game was a heartbreaker, you know, coming, you know, having an eight, seven run lead in the ninth inning is really tough to really lose that. I've never seen that before. But they come out the next couple of days and jump out of them the same way we did the days before and they get that same opportunity in the ninth to have the lead, keep the lead, get the win. And the next day, come out there and, you know, score the most runs we've ever scored in one game in our history. It's just really good message to them. Just to show that, you know, we, you know, we blew it, but at the same time, we're going to come back and we're going to fight back and we're going to take care of work. Our against the Big West, I mean, we're trying to get in the, trying to get in the, uh, the conference with the Big West, so that, those are um, big opponents because we want to show them that we can face with them and compete with them. So to go out you know, Northridge and UC Davis take two out of three for both of them, win both series. You know, Riverside wanted the same thing. I mean, just to show that we can compete with them, you know, it shows that the conference, you know, that we're just as good as they are. We can compete with those players and then we, we'll be fine with, you know, the West Coast and the baseball. Uh, standards they have out I mean, here. The walk-off last year, I mean, against Riverside, that was just, it's one of those moments you, you play the game for those moments. And um, I don't know, I mean, just, it really is, it's, 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 it's Hollywood style, you know, you, you live for it and it happens and even when it happens, you don't, you kind of forget, you almost, you almost don't believe it. And so to play against a team like that, you know, last year when we did struggle a lot, to beat one of the big, you know, the big West opponents, a team that's, you know, pretty consistent, pretty good, it's, uh, it was, it was more than just a walk-off. It was, a, you know, it was a good exclamation point on against them, showing them that you know we can come back and beat you guys, and we will, you know, get better as the year goes on. I mean, Riverside, we expect them to always be a good team. They always are. Um, they're kind of underrated in the Big West a little bit because you have Fuller, Ten, and they have Long Beach and Irvine. These teams usually hire, uh, you know, a lot more looks toward them. But Riverside's one of those teams. They are going to go out there. They're going to play the game well. They're not going to make mistakes, and they're going to they're they can beat you just as good as the other team can. So we have to go out there. Take care of the ball, hit the ball, you know, pitch well, and I think we'll be uh, fine. The streak, um, I think it's 13 now. So. <laughs> no, but um, it's it's uh, it's one of those things. You just want to go out there and you want to help the team win. And so when I get my chances to drive in runs, that's more or less my key moment. So you know, you can get one hit or two hits a game, but if you're not consistently driving in runs, helping the team out, that's what really matters to me. I try to just more or less focus on driving in runs more or less because my teammates give me crap. I don't have any RBIs anymore, so I'm trying to focus more on that and step up to the challenge.